Hello, friends. My name is Mr. Reed, and I'm the teacher, man. Today I will be reading Dream Big. It's a story about Michael Jordan, and it's written by his mother, Dolores Jordan. Michael Jordan is arguably one of the best players to ever play basketball. But that wasn't always the case. When Michael was young, he had big dreams of one day playing for his country in the Olympics. It's not enough, though, to just dream big. You have to work big, too. Let's explore what that means together. I hope you enjoy today's reading. Dream Big by Dolores Jordan Illustrated by Barry Root Schoolwork always came first, but whenever he could, Michael played, dreamed, and lived basketball. Michael took his basketball everywhere. Every day when he got off the school bus, he would dribble his basketball home. But his love of his basketball made his mother tell him things like, Michael, tables are for dining, not dribbling. Or, Michael, you may not play with your basketball in the house. And, Michael, put your ball down and concentrate on your homework. Every day after school, Michael and his friends would play pickup games in Michael's backyard or at the boys' center downtown. They would see who could get 20 shots first. One afternoon, Michael was way behind, not even up to 10. Michael's best friends, Reggie and David, were near 20 points each. Michael, you better catch up, David said. Are you dreaming again? Michael and his friends often talked about what they wanted to be when they grew up. Reggie wanted to be an astronaut, and David wanted to be a pilot. Michael dreamed of playing basketball, maybe even in the Olympics. David, do you think I'll make the team when we get to high school? Michael, you love the game. The more you play, the better you'll be, David said. It's like Coach tells us. You just need to work hard and keep practicing. Michael was thinking about what David had said when he and the boys went over to his house to take some practice shots before dinner. Not so fast, boys. There will be no basketball until your homework is done. Every last page, Mrs. Jordan called. Mom, Michael said. That's final. Now scoot. Dave and Reggie, see you later, Michael mumbled. Michael knew his mom meant business. Schoolwork was important to her and came first. Basketball was fine, but only after homework was done, and done well. Michael dragged himself to his room to work on Miss Gertrude's math homework. At school that week, all the talk was about the Olympics. The U.S. basketball team was playing in Germany and everyone was following it. I want to play basketball, not watch it on TV, Michael told his friends. Michael thought it would be so exciting to play for the U.S. Olympic team. He dreamed of it. On Sunday, September 10th, it rained and rained. Michael was stuck inside, so he watched the Olympics on TV with his brothers, Ronnie and Larry. The United States was playing basketball against Russia. It was the most exciting game Michael had ever seen, with a final score of 50 to 51. A loss for the United States. After the game, Michael walked into the kitchen as his mother was preparing dinner and announced, I'm going to be an Olympic champion. Oh, really? His mother replied with a smile on her face, not looking up from peeling the potatoes. That's a long way off, and you're just nine. You'll need to work hard starting today to make that happen. His mother wondered if Michael had any idea of all the effort it would take to even get to try out for the team. Dreaming is good, but dreaming is for dreamers. It's one thing to want to play in the Olympics, Michael. It's another thing to do something about it, she told her young dreamer. Mom... I am a dreamer, but I'm a winner too. You better get busy then. 
You'll be old enough to try out before you know it. Coach Herring, can I talk to you? Coach had always given Michael a high five in the hallways, but still it had taken Michael weeks to get up the nerve to speak to him. I really want to play on the U.S. Olympic team. What can I do to get there? To start, you'll need to try out for the middle school team. It's a lot of pressure and will take a lot of work, but nothing like the pressure in the Olympics. Can you handle it? I mean, deep down, can you handle it and do you really want it? I promise to work my hardest and make it happen, Michael answered. Michael was ready to play for his country in the Olympics and would do whatever he needed to do to get there. Well, son, with hard work, anything is possible. Make sure you keep that promise to yourself. The next day, Michael's big brother Larry was off to Laney High School for a scrimmage. I can't promise you any playing time, but why don't you come and sit on the bench and watch? Maybe you'll pick up some pointers and learn some new plays, his brother said. Michael noticed that he was now up to Larry's shoulder. He had grown and so had his dream. It was time to do something about it. Larry's team was leading by six points when Michael was called in. Larry passed the ball to Michael, who passed it right back. Michael began to imagine himself on the Olympic team. He could see it and feel it. The ball was passed to Michael. Michael had a mean, long shot, and he shot right over the head of the tallest boy on the other team. He sunk it. Mom, the final score was 14 to 10, and three points were mine. Well, I guess you aren't just a dreamer, but a doer, Michael. And Michael never gave up after that game. Not for a day. Even when he was cut in the tryouts for high school basketball, he just practiced harder and harder. Michael's dream grew just like he did. In the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles, Michael Jordan became an Olympian for the U.S. basketball team and won his first gold medal. Somehow he knew when he was only nine that this is what would be. It all started during the pickup games on the blacktop with his friends. Michael never gave up. A giant step? No. A series of small steps day after day after day? Yes. Michael's big dream came true. So dream big and work hard and your dream might come true too. Wasn't that a great story? I loved reading about the positive influences Michael had to support him as he worked towards his goals. I hope that you also have mentors for encouragement and support as you work to accomplish your dreams and goals. They could be people like your parents, your coaches, or your teachers. So what type of person are you? Are you a dreamer? Or are you a doer? That's kind of a trick question because I hope that you are both. When we watch our heroes on TV, we often get caught up in their greatness and forget about all of the hard work that they had to put in to become great. I just finished watching the first episode of a really neat documentary about Michael Jordan on Netflix. When Michael was drafted into the NBA, he wasn't the first pick. He was a good player, but most did not consider him to be the best player that year. Michael was determined, however, to be the greatest player that ever lived. But more importantly, he had the work ethic to go with it. Do you want to get better at something? I promise that you can get better at anything, and I mean anything, but it will take a lot of work. Can you handle it? I mean, deep down, can you handle it, and do you really want it? I hope you enjoyed today's story, and I hope you'll join me again next time.